Thanks for tuning in to Red Belt Radio. The following episode is scheduled for one fall. I'm Jason, and this show is dedicated to world wonder ring stardom. Today I'm covering the newly formed supergroup in stardom, the company's brand new faction, which is yet to be named, but is certainly going to be something to watch during the second half of the year. I'm going to discuss the significance of this team and its members, who the leader of this new faction might be, and what feuds or belts they could be getting involved with. Here's a quick disclaimer before we get started. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to refer to this currently unnamed faction as O2 Star. I'm choosing this nickname because it appears that all of the faction members were born in the year 2002 and because it merges the existing tag team names of O2 Line and Crazy Star. This is not officially the faction's name, but I wanted something that would be quick and easy to say repeatedly. Again, I'll be calling this faction O2 Star as a nickname for the purposes of this transmission. Let's give this group a closer look. If you find these transmissions valuable, please give this a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment to let me know what you think. O2 Star consists of Starlight Kid, formerly of Oedotai, Azumi and Miyu Amasaki, both formerly of Queen's Quest, Mei Sara, who has never been in a stardom faction, and when she returns from injury, Suzu Suzuki, who also hasn't yet been in a stardom faction. What's important to note about this group is that it is comprised of the fastest wrestlers in all of stardom, and some of the most creative as well. At least three or four of the wrestlers in this group have already participated in a match of the year contender, and they will without a doubt be participating in more of those before the year's over. There is a glut of past and future high-speed champions in this group, which will allow for a unique and cohesive stylistic identity and set their matches apart from anyone else's. On top of that, O2 Star is not only the newest faction, but the youngest in terms of average wrestler age. This means that this group, in a manner of speaking, represents stardom's future and has the potential to remain a major presence and even a dominant force for several years to come. But who will be the leader of O2 Star? While I think it's possible that they'll go the EXV route and have multiple captains, it's fairly clear that Starlight Kid has taken the most initiative to both put this roster together and whip them into shape. The story of SLK's excommunication from Oedo Tai at All-Star Grand Queendom, her temporary alliances with just about everyone in the company, and her appeal to the Queen's Quest exiles at Stardom's The Conversion is a sign from stardom that she is now someone that takes control of her own destiny. She has the popularity, skill, and willingness to grab a microphone required to graduate to the position of leader. At the same time, something about the dynamic of this faction gives me the sense that there won't be much of a strict hierarchy in place. But for those of you who don't know, Let's talk about each faction member individually. Starlight Kid has been wrestling matches for stardom since she was literally a teenager. She has only just recently abandoned her heel persona and currently holds a title belonging to the young international promotion Spark Joshi, which she won in Philadelphia this April. Suzu Suzuki, who will be returning soon from injury, is the winner of last year's five-star Grand Prix 
and fought for the Red Belt twice during that same year. She is a very versatile wrestler who can keep up with high speedsters or just as effortlessly withstand the ferocity of a hardcore match. Azumi has been training to wrestle since her age was in single digits, and that is abundantly clear to anyone who has seen her matches. She is probably the greatest high-speed wrestler currently active in stardom, and she is absolutely deserving of several upcoming accolades. May Sarah has given us this year's best high-speed title match thus far, and a number of the best tag matches as well. She is as fast as anyone in a stardom ring, and impossible to dislike. The only thing working against her are the multiple other prominent super talents taking up space in this unit. Lastly, Miyu Amasaki has yet to make any major waves, but she is by no means insignificant here. She will end up eating most of the group's pins, but the future, new blood tag, and artist belts are not outside of her grasp. Speaking of belts, I think we can expect to see stardom giving this group some early legitimacy by allowing them to win a title. May Sarah could easily be reclaiming the high-speed championship, which makes her block in the five-star Grand Prix even more dynamic than it already is. I also think we will see Starlight Kid holding the highly sought-after white belt within the next 18 months. It is clearly the next step for her, and if she's going to be the closest thing O2 Star has for a leader, then she is absolutely white belt material. Suzu Suzuki is a much tougher puzzle piece to fit. Last year, she was obviously the beneficiary of a story light super push, but that seems to have since been course corrected. It's possible that another artist reign and impressive triangle derby run for Suzu is on its way. In terms of feuds, I'm looking forward to seeing O2 Star interact with Oedo Tai, since SLK, Azumi, and Miyu Amasaki all have valid reasons to be pissed at that faction. Additionally, I think almost any tag team arrangement between O2 Star and the Stars faction has the potential to create insane action throughout the remainder of 2024 and beyond. What is it about Stardom's newest faction that has you most intrigued? Who do you think gains the most from this alliance? And will the group overall be able to contend with the rest of the Stardom roster? If you found this transmission valuable, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment to let me know what you think. Thanks for listening to Red Belt Radio.